I'm going to keep all my miniature stuff in a DVD or a VHS video case and make them all into like a little Polly Pocket. Devs and I have too many hobbies. My new hobby is miniature art and I've got a lot of miniature art to show you. So let's get to it shall we? My first miniature art is Tangled. I put LED lights through this and the ocean lights up. If you remember from the movie Tangled, um, when they see the castle and there's lanterns at night, Rapunzel goes to the water on a boat and sees all the lanterns from the, from the castle as she's on the boat. And I thought I'll light up the water. This is my favourite one. I thought it was just going to be a tower, but the tower has... Not a very popular movie, but this is my favourite Disney princess movie, Tangled. So that's why I made this. A bit more round. It's got a lot more windows. It's even got like a little character with it, so that's really nice. How this project came about is that nobody's buying DVDs these days. And I live in a small flat, so I can't do like big miniature art stuff in a dollhouse. I can't lose some stuff. It's good to recycle things. So this is made from cardboard. The grass is made by a kitchen sponge. The water is made by plastic and a straw. And it's kind of cool. It's like a nice display, a D&D, &D, a little dollhouse you could say. So I thought I would keep it all in a box and it won't get dusty. I use a lot of air clay. I don't like using clay that goes in the oven because then you've got to wait two hours to use the oven again. So I already use air clay. The next one is Inside Out. There's a hole for a reason. I just wanted to ask you, how are you feeling today? Because I'm okay. You know in Inside Out too, there's anxiety, joy, sad, angry. So all the emotions. You look through the hole and see what it is. The last thing I did is that I added the straw here. So that way if I put a like a little memory ball. I love like how I made all the, bu the buttons from a dotting tool for Riley's memories. When I did the circle, there was jaggy bits coming out. So it's like, what can I do? I know, I'll just, I'll just put hot glue around the circle and then paint it. And it's perfect. You may recognise this one. It's Doctor Who. This is going to be David Tennant's TARDIS. This was inspired by my Doctor Who Society. That's our badge for the club. Been going on for a long time in Glasgow. So here we have David Tennant's, we have the controller pad, we have a chair. We have a chair up here because when Rose's mum was on the TARDIS, she said to the doctor, if you take me to Mars, I'm going to kill you. Next one is a flat one. It's not up like this, it's flat. This is 12 Dancing Princesses, Barbie. I know you may hate Barbie or not a fan of Barbie. And you think Barbie's like, eh. I'm a big fan of the Barbie classic films. And I thought I would do one. So this is the bedroom. And the, all the princesses magically dance around this little beautiful circle. It's a carpet, it's a rug. It's a magically takes them into a secret garden. And this is where they dance and escape away from the evil auntie that's making them into a cult. <laughs> that's how I see 12 Dancing Princes. Because they don't get to wear coloured dresses anymore. They have to become proper princesses. No more dancing alone. You have to dance with a partner. We need to get rid of her. And I'm glad we can escape from her at night by going to the garden. But they can only go to the garden three times. So sadly, that ended. Next one is Powerpuff Girls. Not finished yet, but you don't always finish your miniature art. You think you finished it, and then like two months later you go back to it, it's like, where did that thing go? It's missing, or it's dusty, or, oh, I didn't paint that, and you go back to painting that. Or, I didn't print the cover. I don't have a printer. We've got the hotline, there's the bed for the Powerpuff Girls. We got somewhere where they could do their makeup, some books and some lights. This is a plastic magnet. So yeah, that is Powerpuff Girls for now. Do you need to update that one? 
if I ever get a chance to go to the library and print the background out. Next one. Go, go Power Rangers! Ooh. This is so cool. I just joined the Scottish Power Ranger group within the week. I made this. Um, I drawed it out first, of course, to know like what can I do to make something to do with Power Rangers. And I made the control headquarters where Alpha is. Ay ay ay! I even made like little tiny figures. And then I found this in the shop. I was like, yes! This Power Ranger came in a 24 advent calendar from TK Maxx for £12. And I was like, yes! Any advent calendar that's priced under 24 days. That's worth it. I use a lot of paint in this one. I was going to print out the back. A bit of hot glue here to make the little light stands. I don't know what these are called actually. The top of the control panel. Of course I also made the little dots by the dotting tool and the little circle things at each end. That was made with hot glue. That was so hard to do. Like I made like 10 circles. Some of them broke and this is this is how this is how it came out. And also the vision circle. I don't know what it's called. Anybody who's a fan of Power Rangers, if I'm saying all these items wrong, comment below what they actually are. Next one. This is the Halloween play zone. It's a soft play area inspired by right now it's Halloween. This is the work in progress. So there's a lot of like trampoline blood, graveyard obstacle course. There's the pumpkin with a pumpkin in the middle that you can climb up. If only this was real life. This would be my soft play area. Also, the top bit's not been done, but I like how it's beamed out because the middle is Stranger Things. And there should be a slide coming out somewhere and into the <laughs> pumpkin bit. The top bit is also going to be a slide popping out here. This thing you're hearing rattling is the big wrecking ball inspired by Miley Cyrus. <laughs> big fan back in the day. <laughs> At the bottom here, you can just see like, you go past the witch and you go through this coffin that opens to who knows where. You go over the bridge and you see slime going down to the pumpkin. Cause that's where the pumpkin is with all the little soft balls. <laughs> and I haven't got that far yet, but this is a working pro progress. I love this. I wish this was real, but it's not. Back in Inverness, we did have a big soft play area, but it was only open for six months. I take it Safety regulations did not cut out after six months. There was another soft play area in the Highlands, somewhere near Aviemore. And when you're afraid of the dark, you didn't go into like some bits of the soft play area because you're scared of the dark. Um, but as you got older and you went to soft play more regularly, you got you got rid of your fears and went through some bits. My last one to show you is an inspired uh, artwork that somebody did that I found at SunnyCon. Uh, Cinecon is a three day Comic Con event in Newcastle. I went there, found an artwork, I was like, I'm gonna do this miniature art. I've sent it to the artist already. So we have the octopus helping a little girl who left her bucket to take little dirt things out of the water. This is, this is all about climate change right here. I did this all with air clay hot glue for the water. Some of the legs were taken apart from a Renaissance thing that I made. And I thought like, nah, I don't like it, so I'm just going to take it apart and use it for the octopus's long leg. This is made from tin foil. I put air clay on top of that. That way I didn't waste any air clay. Painted over the air clay to make stones. Then I put some hot glue in the next day. Uh, then I made the octopus by putting hot glue in these little containers. The tray was so worth getting. It doesn't have to be hot glue. You can use air clay in this. I've got so many of these in different shapes. Like, I recommend this to make things faster. Thank you guys so much for watching my new little hobby, miniature art. There's a lot more videos to watch to do a cosplay and vlogging and a lot more hobbies that I love. Subscribe and remember, it's the memories to make us. So go out there and make some good memories and not some bad memories. More tips and tricks to come of hobbies. Bye guys.